Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to have a house tour. Oh, just kidding. My name is Dexter. I'm the husband of your counselor, Abby, and father to Philip. I was invited to greet all of you a happy new year and a prosperous one, Brent International School, Baguio. Let me just uh, tell you a bit about uh, what I do. Well, apart from being a uh, YouTuber, <laughs> YouTuber, apart from being a uh, YouTuber, I'm also a uh, lawyer by profession and a Gallup certified strength coach. Well, of course, you know what a uh, lawyer does, right? So let me tell you um, something about uh, strength coaching. Why did I start becoming a uh, strength coach? And what do I do as a strength coach? As a strength coach, we help individuals discover their talents. And yes, you, you, and you, everyone's got talent. But why did I start becoming a strength coach? Well, a year ago, I was with the government working as a, uh, um, a uh, lawyer for uh, people with substance use disorder. These are uh, individuals who are addicted to drugs, uh, battered women also. And uh, I also talk to children who are in conflict with the law. These are children who committed crimes. And every time that I talk to them, I hear them say that they will not amount to something, that they are not good at something that their family already kicked them out because um, they're good for nothing. But every time that they tell me these words, this is one thing that I discovered. All of them are talented. It's just that somewhere along the way, no one told them that they are. So I prayed to the Lord, 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 can you help me help my clients? Can you help me tell them or show me a way for me to tell them that they are talented. So that's when I started becoming a strengths coach. Now I'm going to uh, define what talent is. What is talent really? Well, it is your natural way of thinking, feeling, and behaving that can productively be applied. So what are examples? Okay, so when I give you these examples, just imagine, okay? Uh, one example is effortlessly starting conversations. Like if you have a classmate who can easily talk to newcomers or new classmates, well, that is a, that is a talent because not everyone can do that. Another example is um, wanting to finish projects on time. You always have that classmate who would, uh, who would tell you that you would need to submit your, your assignments or projects even before the deadline. Well, that is also a talent. Not everyone has that kind of yearning to be submitting their projects before the deadline. Uh, number th three, or another example is having a positive outlook in life. You will always have that friend who will, who will tell you during uh, trying times, Hey, Dexter, Think positive or look at the brighter side that is also a talent because not everyone can do that those are just few examples but why is it important for us to discover our talents why what's your guess because if you know what you are good at and you are aware of the things that you are not good at survey says that you are six times more likely to say ah Life is good. You will be more productive and engaged at what you do, whether at school or at work. So you might ask, so Dexter, you've been talking about talents and the importance of discovering them. So how can you help us then discover our own talents or our own uniqueness? Well, as a strengths coach, I use an assessment called Strengths Finder Assessment and it will help you discover your top five talents. But of course, we don't have time to be 
doing that now otherwise you'll be missing your class your teachers won't like that of course i think teachers less won't like that as well so what i'm going to do is to just ask you five questions that will help us have a clue to what our talents are are you ready so here are the five questions so just just do a uh, quick self reflection and uh, take a mental note of your answers number one question is what kind of activities are you naturally drawn to this is what we call yearning like when you see someone doing it you tell yourself i'd like to do that too or uh, i'd like to be like him or uh, like her for example philip um, our son he's drawn to watching uh, videos on youtube about um, bike tricks and he always tell, tells us that he wants to be like uh, like those people and actually he does it so he he uh, ask, uh, asks us to uh, take a video of himself doing those uh, bike tricks as well so that's yearning yearning number uh, two question is what kind of activities do you seem to pick up quickly you have this feeling that you've always known how to do this ever since sometimes they don't even uh, teach you how to do it you just watch a youtube video once and you can easily follow that's what you call rapid learning that's called rapid learning think about those activities where you have rapid learning when you can learn them easily that's also a clue to talent number three is what activities give you energy you always ask yourself after doing that particular activity when can i do that again like uh, after doing an artwork or playing in the soccer field or selling during uh, fund fundraising activities you tell yourself when can i do that again you're just so energized that's what you call satisfaction that's number three clue to talent number four what are you doing when time seems to disappear this is what you call flow this is when all the pieces are falling together naturally for example um, for me i love doing powerpoints so sometimes i start preparing them at uh, 8 p.m and end up at around 2 a.m okay and sometimes i don't I, I i don't even feel that i've been there for like hours already i don't feel tired i don't feel uh, sleepy at all you know everything just just uh, falls into place this is what you call flow okay so we're on the fifth question what have other people told you you're great at doing this is what you call glimpses of excellence or what were you known for uh, doing well like if they need someone to organize an event or a party they need someone to write something or to talk to a uh, person for example they always go to you it's it has always been you in those specific activities well that's just an example um, that's what you call glimpses of excellence what were you known for doing well so those are the five questions your answer to these five questions are clues to your talents and if you develop them invest in them do more of them that is the time that these talents will be converted into strengths and how do we define strengths in its simplest terms strengths is you at your best let me repeat that strengths is you at your best strengths is you at your best when was the last time that you felt you were at your best hmm. and once you have discovered your talents converted them into strengths of course i encourage you go out and use them do not keep it to yourself i like what the bible says in first uh, peter chapter 4 10 to 11 each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of god's grace in its various forms 
If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. The talents and strengths that the Lord has given you are meant to be shared. Let me just share to you a, a very quick story. I have one, I have one client. Before uh, going out of jail, he was so afraid because he didn't know what to do. Where, he, where, where will he be getting money to feed his uh, family? But when he discovered that he's good at doing this, this is, a, this is a coin bank actually. When he discovered that he's good at doing this, he improved his skill, developed his skill, and started selling it. And lo and behold, this is the very thing that he's using to provide for his family right now. This is what the Lord wants us to do, to discover our strengths and use them, share them, just like the uh, client that I was uh, telling you about. And once you have discovered your talents, converted them into strengths, go out and use them. Do not keep it. And I would like to encourage everyone to start the year right by discovering your strengths so that we can start living a life that the Lord intended us to. There's a lot of uh, stories about people discovering their, their strengths, but of course, time is not enough to be telling about those now. But this is just one th there's this one thing that I would like you to remember. Everyone's got talent. You just have to discover them. And if you wish to watch this video over again, I'm going to post it in my YouTube channel. And I think it will also be posted in your school's YouTube channel. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe our Facebook page, Diwasa Law. Again, thank you very much, Brent community, for having me. Please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. This is Attorney Dex, your strengths coach.